So in this video, I'm going to be showing you, you've just got your new drone. I'm just going to show you the startup of what you need to do. So the main thing you've got to do, guys, you've got to charge up your battery, obviously, and your RC controller before you do anything. Once you've done that, then it's ready to go. So what I've done, if you watched my previous video, where I've talked about the batteries. This is the um, slightly different battery for the Mini 3 4, the Mini 4 Pro, which I've, got, I've left the sticker on for the moment because I won't get mixed up. I'll put that in there now. So I'm going to turn on the controller. And we'll just turn the controller on first. Double tap. And what it's going to do is going to take us through a procedure of connecting up. So obviously you can pick the language that you need. So I'm going to be English. And then we've obviously got the terms and conditions, the terms of use. Uh, and then if you notice, it just goes on and on and on. I mean, I'd be amazed if anybody does read any of this, but I suppose they've got to put all this down there to cover themselves about liability and things like that. So I agreed to that. And then we put the country of origin or the country that I'm in at the moment, which is... Uh, Spain, so we'll just make sure there it is. So I've ticked that. Uh, then we've got to do the Wi Fi. That one, I've got to put in the password, which I'm not going to show you. So we just OK that. So I've selected my uh, network. Or the Wi-Fi, I should say. Uh, time now. <laughs> I don't think I've got the Chinese time, that's for sure. I'm going to put Brussels. Okay, that'll do. Okay, so we've done that. Make sure time is set correctly. So it's... Um... Okay, so it says 17.44, which is correct. I'll confirm that. Right, now I've got to put in my login details. Okay, so, at long last, I've been act activate. So now it's telling you what to do. So we just do that. We can follow through all the screen. And that's telling you really all about the controller itself. different switches, what's all the buttons. Now, it's obviously very similar to the other RC controller, so um, I don't really need to take much note of this, but obviously if you're new, and this is the first time you're buying a drone, then you do need to take note of these things and what the lights mean. Okay, so we've done that. So now we should be going into the app itself. So it's just loading up the app. Now, yesterday, there was a new update on the um, DJI Fly app for your phone. So if you bought the other controller, which is the RCM one, or you might even bought the new uh, controller. So we're just going for all the, the things that we've been ticked, so we don't need to do that. Uh, I don't want to be part of this, but people can do it if they want. Interested in flying the DJI aircraft is... Okay. And that's telling you all the instructions about the academy at the top there. So we do, what we do now is going around the screen. It's telling all the things. Now, here, here we are. Connection guide. So we're going to connect up the drone now. Okay. So... What it's saying now is you've got to turn on the drone. So what it's doing at the moment, it's searching. But as always, we know what we've got to do. It's also unable. And what we've got to do now is pair it up. So we press pair. Hear, hear the bleeps, you see the blue. We're going to press that for four seconds. 
And once you hear that noise, that means it's part paired together. Okay, we just agree to the terms. We do that. So the activation, so the drone and the controller are paired together. Um, and now we, if you want, you can take out the uh, carefree air, uh, refresh. <laughs> I, I never do, but if you want to, um, you can. I'm not going to bother with that, but I know a lot of people do take that out. Um, right. So I'll just confirm that. Okay, now we've got the updates. Now, so we've got to go through the whole procedure of the update. So we just press update. Now, I, how long this thing would take, I do not know. I think that noise that you can hear now is the fan that's it actually in the controller. Now I've noticed also that the drone has turned itself off. But then this is uh, more to do with the update for the controller than the actual drone. But I'd imagine it's already loaded up that stuff onto the drone. It's At the moment it's just doing the RC2 at the moment. As you can see, the red light means that the drone is off. It's not connected. And I would imagine if it wants the drone on, it will tell you on the screen. Now, something else here I've got here is an SD card for the controller. Now, I've noticed at the bottom of the controller that the flap has gone now. So all you've got to do is insert the card, uh, which I'll show you once this is done. And it's advisable to have uh, an SD card. Now obviously it does, when you buy this drone it will not come with an SD card guys. Just remember that and also that's the same for the drone as well. So here we go. Touch anything yet guys. Let's let it go through the process because if you do you're gonna might have to start all over again. Okay, so it's starting up now, going back into the DJI Fly app. Now guys, it was a long process, so bear with it. So it's starting up the DJI Fly app. You can see the light at the top there has gone blue. Uh, user feedback we would like, so I'm going to get rid of that. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, okay, so here it is, the, the connection guide again. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn on the drone. Because officially, it should be already powered. So we're just going to see if that's true. Just going to turn the drone slightly. Let's do that again. Okay. So the light's gone green at the top there. You can see, um, if I do that, you can see my arm, you can see all the other stuff. <laughs> okay, so we're in. So we want to do now, I just want to check the settings a moment just to make sure everything's fine. So on the safety, we've got the brake on. So this means if it flies towards something like a brick wall, it's going to stop. I will do the tracking and that later on and we avoid it. But at the moment, we're pretty happy with that. It's got the dis the radar map. Yep. Yeah. Return to home. Um, altitude, 100 meters. Now, what I will do is change that to feet because I'm a, a feet and inches man myself. Um, and it tells you all about all the other things. We won't, we won't need to know too much about it. We've got control. So I'm going to put mine into Imperial because that's what I know. So I understand that. 
We've got the follow me mode. We don't want on the FPV at the moment. Gimbal's all right. Now we might have to um, do that once we first take the drone ready to take off. But at the moment we're fine. We'll just have a quick look at the, the uh, camera. I'm quite happy with, I'm gonna do JPEG RAW. The aspect, 16.9. Uh, resolution 12 me megapixel anti flickers on auto at the moment. I haven't got no um, grid lines or histograms on, but you can do that if you're into all that stuff. White balance on auto. Uh, now, what I am going to do, if you can see there, it's got the SD card. So I'm going to insert the SD card into that. Okay. So what it's saying, internal storage, okay. I know what it is, it's because I turned the drone on, I should have turned the drone off and then inserted the card. Well, we'll see how that is once we get back outside. Uh, everything else, we're just checking all, okay. Transmission, I don't usually look at that to be honest. Right, what you need to do is just check for updates. So we just could do a, a quick, because there might be a new update no, so we're up to date on that. It's telling you uh, what we're using at the moment. It's got the, the app version as well. Uh, we're going to do the fly safe data. That's up to date as well. Okay, it's telling you all, all the other numbers that you need to do. Now we've already got the battery in there. I've only got one battery, so the ba that battery's already been loaded. So we go back to safety, we come back out of that. So the next thing we can do is to go outside. So we just turn off the drone. And we turn off the controller. So you can see me all geared up. Now the, the main reason why I've got this um, GoPro on me is because yesterday when I first came out, I was so excited. There was a few things I hadn't done. I didn't format the... Home point updated. I hadn't updated the, I hadn't formatted the SD card. So for some reason it didn't film nothing. So I've got all that sorted now. Um, I've been having a problem with the screensaver on, on this RC2. For why, I don't know what it's doing. It's actually putting it onto the internal and I just can't seem to get it off. So I'll be sorting that out then. But I thought what I'll try and do is if you guys can see what's going on on the screen. So the, I mean, obviously the first thing you want to do is get the drone off the ground because all this is is, is just a test flight really Take off. okay so let's see how it goes what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put on the the video now i'll put the video on to 1080 60 frames that's what i've always done and we're just gonna send it out i'm using the mini 4 pro battery um, but I can safely say that the other batteries do fit and they do work because I did some updates with them yesterday. And I'm just flying that drone around there, bring it up a little bit more. Okay, off we go. Now I'm hoping you can see this on the GoPro. I'm just going around the back there. Um, because obviously, see it's saying at the top there, my storage is, is already full. Um, so I don't know what's going on there. I don't know what that's, that's all about. So I'm hoping the screen savings work, but... I've, Max altitude reached. Okay, so I'm, I've got to maximum out. Now, Sammy brought up that question today, but I will talk about that uh, in another video. I'm just going to bring it around. I'm going to drop, the, drop it down a little bit. Okay. So hopefully you can see. I'm, I'm hoping so much that the screen saves capturing all this that I can show you guys. Um, and I expect on the screen, I'm hoping the GoPro as a number two backup is capturing this. Okay. 
Now, one of the one of the major things that I thought was amazing, it's actually shown you where the home point is. You can I don't know if you can see it, but on the left left middle, it's actually it's it's got like a little H, a yellow H where I am, which you get normally on the um, FPV drones, uh, and you don't get it on the Mini Three Pro. Now, every, everything at the moment. It's an auto. It's not on. Um, I haven't done nothing to the colouring. I mean, to me, it's looking pretty good. So I'm just bringing it around. I've got it at three seventy-three. I'm just going to bring it over towards that. Is a a radar tower that looks. Sometimes it does interfere with the drone reception. At the moment, not getting no problems. Okay, I'm not, I'm not going to fly it over near the town. I'm just going to fly it on that hill. The sun's we've got a few clouds up today. I'll just take it up to this uh, mountain top here. Now, believe it or not, these are old extinct volcanoes. And this is why this area is so famous for its uh, for its mining. <laughs> So, no no problem. The picture's looking really good, which is the main thing. I can see the H again. Uh, it's coming up to the sort of the middle. Right. So, I'm going to stop it there. Okay. And I'm going to bring in the return to home. This is something else that I return think... I don't know if you can see that. It's like a green corridor. And it, it's like the flight path back, which I think is pretty useful. Uh, and another thing is, once the drone is above you, it actually drops down the camera automatically, which I think is another good saving. I think DJI do listen to people's comments. You know, I wish they could do this, wish they could do that. And I think in this, this drone at the moment is doing all the things that we want. You know, dropping the camera down so we can see where you are. So it's just coming above us now. Now I'm not doing nothing to that gimbal. It's actually going to drop. It's, I think it, you can just hit. Oh no, if you can't hear it, it's just but above me now. Now the so the uh, the camera's dropped down. You can see where the H is. Now I've also noticed what it does do. It it does look a little drone shape you can see the little drone shape coming up okay and that's pretty spot on I think it's just upright at the camera as well so that's another good issue as well okay so as far as I'm concerned test flight was good I'm hoping that the um, <laughs> I'm hoping that it saved its on the screen if not hopefully this has captured it I hope you found that interesting so I've shown you the setup now of how to get this thing up in the air especially it's when you're first because everybody has to go through the same procedure even I just because if you've got I've got loads of drones doesn't mean you, you can't go through the procedure you've got to authenticate um, it's to do with the insurance I didn't take out the insurance but for those who took out the insurance I think I got another 24 hours before um, I can't I can't take it anymore. But anyway, I've got my dog down here. Hope you enjoyed that. There's gonna be a load more videos, guys. As always, give it a thumbs up if you liked it, give it a thumbs down if you didn't like it. But at the end of the day, just enjoy flying your drone. I'll catch you on another one very soon. Mm -hmm.